Hello and welcome. Before we get into this very, very special herping video, we are approaching the anniversary of when I moved to Thailand and started posting videos. My goal is to hit 25,000 subscribers in 2023, so make sure you help out by dropping a sub as well as a like and a comment. Let's go. <sighs> new day, new location. We've moved over to Yala province after a very productive couple days in the Ratiwet. Not because it wasn't good there, just we fancied a change of pace, hiking some new trails and seeing if there's a little different diversity of species here. What hasn't changed from place to place is the rain. Obviously it's pouring of rain here. We are in the deep south, but we're hoping it will clear up in the evening. Even if it doesn't, we're gonna be in the forest, getting soaking wet and hopefully finding some snakes. So let's get to it. It's right outside our bungalow, just got our first snake of the night. And this is actually what I describe as a truly rare species. This little worm-like, extremely slender snake here, you look at the venter, defines it as Calamaria lumbricoidea, the variable reed snake. And uh, I've actually, this is actually the first one I've ever found personally in Thailand. And it's certainly one which is quite a high priority species for us to photograph, especially a huge adult like this. Harry found one of these, but it was just a small individual and I never filmed that one. So it's good to finally get an opportunity to film it. It's not really a remarkable snake, to be quite honest. These are reed snakes, Calamaria, which means they cruise around in under loose soil and in leaf litter eating worms for the most part. And this one doesn't seem to bite, but when they want to bite, they actually have surprisingly sharp teeth and they can really tear a chunk out of your flesh. Anyway, these little bastards never sit still. So let's take a close up look at those super iridescent scales, that cool venter, and uh, keep moving. All right, here's our first Hagens of this locality, one that Pete spotted. It's a very slender yet long male. I'd say this one's at least pushing like 90 centimeters, if not longer, but you know, we're just gonna leave it be, let it cruise off. And you see David entering the bushes. That's because we have another snake rapidly tonight. Up there, that kind of white thing you see in the distance. No, it's not a sleeping agamid lizard, although that's what I thought it was at first. It's an adult female Wagless Pit Viper. Kind of small one that should have the adult patterning. And we're gonna try and get it down. Will not be easy, but let's give it a go. Okay, it's uh, actually a transition stage female. It's probably just, uh, yeah, you can see it's just got the little bits of female coloration coming through on the body and the uh, red and white bands are fading. I've actually never seen this species before at this color phase, so that's pretty cool. It does like, look at the head, it has the true female black markings coming through. That's probably the most obvious point. Really cool though, this awesome kind of, uh, what, what color would you describe this? Kind of like green. turquoise green coloration on it. Some, some actually green spots just edging the bars. I mean, we've seen what I've seen one similar to this in size, which had much more female coloration on them in the past. Uh, this one must be just a late bloomer. It's hitting puberty late, I guess. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. David found this kind of yellow Prasina. It's going to green on the head, you can see. So, oh God, it's raining so much. Yeah, Oriental Vine Snake. I'm going to put my phone away. All right, well, after a little bit of hiding under a huge tree and a banana leaf for, from torrential rain, we're back at it. Look, we're walking an elephant footprints, old elephant footprints though. But yeah, you can hear the horn frogs going crazy in the background. And uh, yeah, frogs are gonna love this. Me, not so much, but hopefully some snakes are enjoying it too. Hmm. I can see a very big frog through the mist. I know what it is. So let's go take a closer look. There we go, guys. Look at the size of that Megafris Nasuta. Holy crap. That absolutely dwarfs the ones we are seeing in the Ratiwat. I mean, this thing is freaking amazing and just parked here in the middle of the trail. That is so cool. This guy is certified hench. This is a big, big boy. Like, look at the size of it on my palm. That's a big frog and a very, very special frog. Time for the iconic goofy glare. And then I'll let him go right where we found him. Take care, big guy. Here's a typical after rain mover. Sliding around there is, well, Ichthyophis CF Superchai, Superchai Sicilian. Thought it was a snake for a second. Looks strangely similar to that Calamaria from earlier. Kind of similar dorsal pattern with the yellow on the sides, but just gonna leave this one in situ. Ah, 
It's been well over an hour since our last snake. Our last snake was that yellow Prasina just when it started to pour with rain. So you can see how the weather affects activity, but just got to a new area, a slightly more open, kind of similar to where we are first finding stuff. So let's see if there's anything here. Well, yesterday I got a juvenile and today hatchling Boiga drapezi. This one is tiny. I did not know what I was looking at at first, but let me give you a size comparison. Absolutely minuscule little snake. Man, all these years of herping in Thailand, I've been wondering where the juveniles of the species are, and all of a sudden, they start showing up one day after the other. It, it's really crazy how this goes, honestly. Okay, we're back up and running again. Snakes are on the board once more. Let's get those numbers up. Finally, another snake after that trapezium, and this time it's a normal green uh, Pressina. Yeah, definitely Pressina. I can see it's got an orange tail there. Sorry, I hadn't even taken a close look at it before filming. I just saw it, opened the phone, there it is. Right, so this is the problem we're faced with today, is that, well, our wheel is flat and it needs to be changed. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and now we're going into Batong Town to change the wheel. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go with these guys I've never met before in my life. See you soon. Thank you. Very hot. Is that nice? New Isuzu D-Max. I've never traveled in a D-Max before. That's kind of crazy. Okay, while I was out getting the tire fixed, successfully by the way, David and Pete caught this little triangle keelback, which of course is a familiar species. Pretty common in the south of Thailand around water bodies, but still nice to see. And honestly, quite pretty. These guys have a, this green head, fading often to a vibrant yellow, or this one's kind of dull, and then they're red-sided, which kind of gets them their other common name, the red-sided keelback water snake. And yeah, this guy's uh, very pleasant, very placid, not biting at all. It's got a full tail as well. I'm not sure if you can see that. Where is it? Yeah, over there. Because one thing about this species is that they can actually drop their tail. So you've got to be very careful when grabbing these in the forest. But yeah, very nice snake. All right. And our idea to road cruise has paid off right here as the sun sets. Although you probably just looks like nighttime for you. We have a new species for the trip. And I think also a new species on my channel. Again, one of so many this trip because of course... I rarely ever film in the south of Thailand. You may be thinking, uh, is that Fask? No, this is Southern Fask, Southern Piqueau. This is the purple cookery snake is the common name, or, and some people say brown cookery snake. In this case, brown cookery snake is probably more appropriate, especially for these Thai morphs, which are usually like this, or very colorful red banded ones. But yeah, purple cookery snake sounds better, so we usually refer to it as that. And don't be mistaken, these are these pack the same kind of punch as Fask, as Sir Faskington. These are capable of tearing you apart. And if you look with my hand next to it, you know, it's not these are around the same size as Fask. In fact, I think this is the biggest species of cookery snake, at least the biggest in Thailand. These are known to reach well upwards of a meter. And uh, honestly, this one. It's extremely beautiful, actually. I didn't really notice in all the panic of seeing it on the road. I, I let David film first and I took a look, but take a look at the venter of this. I don't know if those yellows on the edge are coming up, but man, they've got such a cool venter. Obviously, it's very normal. Most cookery snakes have these brightly colored venters, but this one is, is really something with those mottled yellow edges. We really want to get back on the road because it is prime cruising hour and we're hoping we can grab one of our targets tonight. So let's go. Guys, there it is. Our number one target of the trip. We planned this night out meticulously. We said, let's go into town and let's drive back at dusk. Prime time for finding these out on the road. We got that cookery snake quickly got moving again to get as much time and not even 200 meters from the point of the road where I got one last time stretched out in the middle of the road was well one of the most obvious snakes you could possibly see on the road a blue coral snake yellow morph blue coral snake which means these ones down here have actually accentuated blue between the scales which gives them way more of a blue look than the ones in the Ratiwat and further north in Thailand. This is the most beautiful morph of this species in the country. 
and we are beyond overjoyed right now. Everyone's being quiet because I'm filming, but trust me, it was not quiet when we spotted this. <laughs> Pete said he wanted to give me a hug. David was just going, yes, <laughs> yes. And I couldn't, I couldn't help but say, there it is. The snake, when you find something that you've just been looking for, picturing in your mind for day after day after day, and then you see it in front of you, that's all you can say. It's like, for me, it was just, there it is. We're done, we got it, let's go. We did another pass or two after this and saw nothing on the road. So we decided to change strategy and go for a hike in the forest. While hiking, we got out this absolutely insane blue coral snake for some photos. Truly one of the holy grail species of Southeast Asia and one I've been wanting to show on my channel all year long, especially after finding so many without filming. Getting our guest Pete's number one target was also amazing. Anyway, back to the herping. All right, so after seeing a grand total of one snake in the jungle, and it was a Hagen's Pit Viper we saw the night before, we've hopped back in the car to do some last minute cruising before we call it of night. Obviously, there's not really much need for us to be out because we've already found our number one target, but we got some time and to be honest, we wouldn't mind seeing another snake. So let's see if anything shows up. All right, second pass in. And we got a snake, and look at that. It's yet another Piquiao. This one is uh, Oligodon signatus, the rusty barred cookery snake, which some would consider a rare snake. <laughs> some would consider a rare snake because of the fact it was only dis <laughs> discovered in Thailand a couple years ago. But we've seen actually like six of these this year, and I actually saw one here last time. But uh, the guys are trolling me and this one's definitely, this one's super dull in coloration. Yeah, I, was gonna say. I think it's going into shed. Let's take a look at it. I don't know. The other one I got here last time was really, really dull too. Maybe it's just locally, it's really dull, local morph. It's, really pretty to me. it's got like a gray sheen over it. But yes, no snakes active in the jungle, but snakes active on the road. Herping in full moon conditions, I think we planned ourselves perfectly. We got the blue coral and then saw pretty much nothing else until we hopped back in the car. But the other two snakes we got, both cookeries, were also new species for the trip and not common at all. So all in all, actually a great night. I take this over the previous night, no doubt, and I'm going to go to sleep a very happy man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the blue coral snake and I'll catch you next time.